following segment is sponsored by the Utah Beef Council. What a great day to be in the kitchen, especially it's a birthday, which, you know, nobody, nobody wished me happy birthday when I came in. I did. You did. Yeah. Well, co-workers. Oh, co-workers, okay. Jacob yeah. was the first one to wish me happy oh, birthday. Okay. Yeah. And then and we're throwing Sloppy, Sloppy, Joe's. Sloppy Joe's. I love Sloppy Joe's. Yeah, this Joe's. is your choice. This was my choice. Yeah. I love oh. Sloppy Joe's. So we're starting off with some hamburger, yep. obviously. We're going to go with some extra, extra lean ground beef on this, some 96% oh, lean wow. ground beef. Really glean. Yeah. Uh, so lean. this this particular recipe is a uh, certified American Heart Association certified, you know, heart certified. healthy recipe. They waved their magic wand yes, and said, yes. this is a lovely recipe. What that really means is it's heart low healthy. in, yeah, it's heart sodium healthy. And low in sodium, get, lower in fat. Until I get full of salt. Well, easy on that. <laughs> but full of flavor, as you're going to salt see. Salt and pepper so. the, the hamburger to your choice. Yep. And then you are dicing up, chopping up Just, some pepper. Yep. And, and then some onion. And onion. Yep. Okay. So we're, once you cook that up, we are going to add these in, saute that up, get it nice and. You know the nice thing I like about the leaner meat, you don't have to drain the fat. Yes. Off of it. So definitely don't need to drain. 96%. You pay a little bit more for it, yeah. but you don't have to drain off that fat and waste that away. Well, that's that's a lot of times you don't realize when you're having the the fattier ground beef, you're actually just paying for more fat that you end up draining off. Of course so, you are, yeah. Um, it's actually so it, a little more economical if you stop works, and think about it. It works out pretty well. So Some of those ready we can throw yeah, in here? Yeah, all right. I'm trying to chop and talk, and that's working somewhat. <laughs> I know. I even asked oh. you earlier if you can uh, chew gum and talk and walk at the same time. Sometimes. You're like, eh, sometimes when I want to. <laughs> so to this, we'll get this going here, sauteing here, and when we come back, we'll finish it up. We've got a wonderful cabbage mm -hmm. that we're going to show you what your favorite thing to do is with it. So, Mary, I'm going to slave over a hot stove on Lop my birthday. Okay, good. <laughs> segment is sponsored by the Utah Beef Council. Let's head back into the kitchen with the birthday boy and <laughs> Jacob from the Beef Council. It's the birthday boy and Jacob yes. from the Beef Council. Uh, uh, birthday is boy. Oh, sure. Is that good today? Oh, okay, yeah, so. that's good today. Definitely. So we have worked to finish this all up and catch everybody up at home what you've done to finish this because it was very easy. Yeah, you just take 12 ounces of 100% like vegetable, vegetable juice. vegetable juice, mm -hmm. okay. And then a little bit of Worcestershire. Uh -huh. And uh, then we put a little bit of brown sugar in there just to okay. sweeten it up. So. Okay. And then and you're then just going to cook that down, let it work together, it reduce it down until it comes to this beautiful And it's beautiful really thickened dough. up yeah. really nicely. I'm quite surprised, actually. I wasn't sure if it would thicken like that. Oh, well, <laughs> just trust in the recipe. Trust in the certified <laughs> recipe. Right. And then, of course, we have some whole wheat buns, you know, buns of your choice. Okay. But going whole wheat on this one. And I Here love the top with. Now, just, is, is this in the recipe, the cabbage? I think it's in the picture. Is it in yeah, the picture? Yeah, because yeah. this is something you really enjoy and I love as well. A little I bit of cabbage on there with some the green beans. Add some color. And it just helps round out. Yeah, and some blueberries. Well, as always, Jacob, it's always a pleasure to have you on with me. Well, thank you. Thanks for sharing your birthday. All of our, you're welcome. All <laughs> of our friends at the Beef Council. You can head on over to QTV.com. You can also go to CookingWithChefBrian.com for the recipe. And as always, thanks, Jacob, for being with me. Okay, this one, Heart Association approved. Thanks, guys.